So this is like a part two, um, we're looking at trigonometry basics, but this video is going to actually look at the calculating the unknown angles for right angle triangles. Um, still the same thing, you still need to uh, identify hypotenuse opposite and adjacent sides, um, choose the appropriate ratio, and then use your algebra to find your um, unknown angle. So that's what we're looking at. So sine, cos and tan still stay true, it's just that we're looking for a different variable within the ratio. So see here we normally would have previous um, lessons we've looked at finding the missing side, so something's missing from this part of the um, equation or the formula. We're now looking at what happens when the this A here is missing. So that's what we're going to. So here we are, we've got um, using trigonometry ratios to find the unknown angle. Let's assign our hypotenuse opposite and adjacent labels and then identify which ratio we need to use. So I'm going to call this one right angle opposite, so hypotenuse. Here's my theta opposite and adjacent. Okay, I can see that I've got uh, my opposite and hypotenuse, so that means that this is a sine ratio. So it's going to be sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse, substitute the values in. Now I don't know what theta is. Opposite is 3.5 um, and this is 5. Now this is where it gets a little bit trickier. So what we have here is that this is like sine times, it's because it's a ratio, times um, a value, but we don't know what that value is. So we are going to actually like move sine to this side of the equation. Now you can't the thing is that your calculator and requires a sign and the degrees with it, like the, the size of the angle to work. So um, there is mathematics a reason why it's like sine to the power of negative one. So essentially what happens is you're, you take your sine negative one and you multiply it by the fraction that you have or the ratio you have between your sides and that gives you your theta. So essentially that is what you input into your calculator um, and um, that is the mathematics, I mean that is like the shortcut way of doing it. There is proper mathematics that explains why it's to the power of negative one, um, that is for another video another time. Uh, you just need to know that if you are finding an unknown angle, this thing here, you need to use these inverses. So um, the inverse of sine equals uh, sine negative one, uh, cos, sorry, is cos to the power of negative one, and tan is going to be tan to the negative one. So all of those functions can be found on your calculator using the second function. I'm actually going to bring up my proper calculator so it's not hidden by red lines. Um, here you go, so here's my calculator and above my sine, cos and tan are those um, to the power of negative one. So that's like you're using your inverse operations. So here we are, I've already got that written down. I'm going to go uh, shift sine. Now I can put that in as a fraction, so 3.5 over 5. Make sure that you close the brackets out that side, you get a syntax error otherwise. and that gives me 44.42. Now, um, equals 44.42 degrees. Now that is in decimal, like decimal degrees. There are ways of converting it to degrees and minutes. So if the calculator asks, uh, sorry, if the question asks you to convert to degrees or minutes, um, minutes degrees, then you just hit that circle, comma, double comma, and it'll give you the answer as 44 degrees, 25 minutes and 37.21 seconds. So that is how you convert between the two um, formats of degrees. So I'll just do a, another one here for you. Let's just clear that. Again, assign your hypotenuse because it's opposite. And then look for theta and this is going to be your um, opposite and adjacent. So straight away I can see that I've got this one and this one, so that is a tan ratio. So I write out my formula, tan theta equals opposite 
over adjacent, substitute the known values in, theta is unknown, opposite is 5 over 11. Now I, I'm trying to find theta, so it's going to be 10, negative 1, uh, 5 and 11. Theta equals, so you do that on the calculator, um, we go shift 10, 5 by 11. So you would have noticed that I've used a different format. Um, same thing, different. Uh, remember, a fraction is a division. And here we go, 24.44 degrees. And 24.44 degrees. So that is how I use my trigonometry ratios to find unknown sides. I mean, sorry, unknown angles. You can also use it for sides. Um, there are the questions that are affiliated in your textbook. Great, guys. Thank you.